Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Mr. Onotiro, and today we're going to be playing the Stanley Parable. Um, I'm super excited to play this game. I've heard a lot of awesome things about it, great reviews, and I just I love psychological games. So I'm going to read you the quick summary of this game. It's actually really interesting. So, okay, the Stanley Parable is the first-person exploration game. You will play as Stanley, and you will not play as Stanley. You will follow a story. You will not follow a story. You will have a choice. You will not have a choice. The game will end. The game will never end. Contradiction follows contradiction. The rules of how games should work are broken, then broken again. This word, this world was not meant, not made for you to understand. But as you explore slowly, meaning begins to arise. The paradoxes might start to make sense. Perhaps you are powerful after all. The game is not here to fight you, it's inviting you to dance. So I got this on Steam. Um, for the first two weeks they're having a 20% off. So get the game. I heard it's fantastic. It's got a fantastic rating. And there's a free demo right here if you want to try it out before you play it. So, so now let's go play the game. I'm excited. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Okay guys. We are here, the Stanley Parable, we're at the main menu. Um, just look at this, this is awesome. Look, you can see your mouse in the screen, within the screen, within a screen, within a screen, within a screen, ah, uh, okay. I don't even know if you can see my fraps thing right there. <laughs> be good, that'd be sweet. Okay, so I'm super excited. Let's make sure the options are good. Um, okay. All right, so let's begin the game. I, okay, I think the last time I tried this out, the loading's pretty long. So I guess you're just going to have to hear my voice. My soft voice. Fall asleep. Actually, don't fall asleep to it because you have to watch uh, me play the game. But I'm, okay, so I know they made a, uh, uh, an earlier version. It was a mod for Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 engine. I think so. They make a lot of cool mods that end up turning into games with that engine. But, um... But yeah, I heard, I seen a couple people play that game, but this game is supposed to be totally different with a bunch of new ideas. Um, I think I just read that to you, didn't I? Yeah, but I'm probably just restating it because I have nothing else to say for this really long loading screen. So, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, no. Um. Oh yeah, look, it says the end is never the end is never the end. The end is never the end is never the end. The end is never the end. <laughs> Oh, the Inception. Okay, let's start the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Awesome. Wait, so how did he not know us for a whole hour that there was nothing on the screen? Come on, dude, get with it. All right, okay, so let's just look around here. Okay, there's nothing in here, let's go this way. Ooh. His controls are pretty sensitive. Flying all over the place, man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the meeting room. Why not, dude, narrator? 
All right, I'll just see if I can look around. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> nope. Wait, what's this? Oh. Why did I turn off the computer? I wanted to read it. Stanley! Okay. Oop, there's a uh, paper on the floor. What's going on here? This is odd. Still nobody here. What is that? Nope, I guess I'm turning it off. Let's just turn off all the computers. Why don't we? Where's the meeting room at? Is this it? This is a maze of doors and cupboards and filing cabinets and computers. Ah. Okay. Nothing in here. When Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? You're trying to trick me, aren't you? I'm going on the right. Ha ha! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley Maybe it is. perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, <laughs> just to admire it. Oh man, this is awesome! Oh, I love. Uh, this reminds me of Bastion. If you haven't played that game, it's awesome. It's a indie game. It's an indie adventure game where this uh, narrator basically narrates your every move. Kind of reminds me of that. It's so cool. He's telling me what. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Ooh, it's nice. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <gasps> drink, drink. Okay, I'm good now. This is a pretty nice room, actually. Let's chill. No, I'm kidding. We don't need chill. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in a room. <laughs> a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Ah, oh, really so worth nice. It. Oh, yeah. I agree with you, Kevin. Very nice. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first me. open door on his left. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I felt dumb there for a second. I don't know if I'm smart enough for this game, guys. I hope so. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Should I listen to you? Okay, fine. I didn't listen to you last time. I'll listen to you this time. Button. Whoa. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> Going down, baby. Oh, another loading screen. Oh, it's not that long. Just you and me, but me and you. didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from My here, Kevin. it's, um, You got it. You got left. it. Wait, I didn't go the right way? Oh, dang it. I thought he said go down to the thing. Oh, no. What? No, it's to the right. My mistake. Or were you wrong? Are you jerk? Okay. I gotta listen to you. No, what? no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? I don't know. What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh, could you hold on for a minute, please? All right, Kevin. I'll wait for you, uh, buddy. Let's see, we went down, right, left, mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. left, right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay, thank you, buddy. I, I know. You must have messed up a couple times. I understand. Stuff like that happens, you know. Are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to kill me, Kevin? Oh! Okay. I know, I'm getting a little crazy. Sorry. But. What? What? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Ah! Okay. I'm okay, closing. Okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Wait, what? How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Wait, no, we're this good. Time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Fire. Okay, from the top. It says fire. Wait a second. Why are we starting me? <laughs> what? Wait, what? No. Did I already beat the game? I'm so good. Yes. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had Wait, decided what? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait a second. What are you doing to me? You're confused. Okay, I'll listen to you this time, okay? I'll listen to you. 
You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna still turn off all of these. Hey, there's more to turn off now. Maybe that maybe it has some kind of play in the ending. I don't know. Close door behind me? No. When wait a second. Wait. Wait, what? No. What? Wait. No, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted. Yeah, you did, man. I'm completely fresh. Everything should be What's up with this? Oh, did something change? Stanley, yeah. did you change anything when we were back no. in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a Hold on. Why I didn't... am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. I'm confused. Then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh, no. Let's find the story. Wait. Uh. Uh. Any, mini, money, mo. Catch it. Tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any, mini, money, mo. My mother said to pick the bag with this one. Okay, hopefully I'm going there. Actually, there's no right way. What am I talking about? This is Stanley's parable. Uh. Let's go this way toward the painting. A pretty painting. More I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you <laughs> there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No, we're good, dude. We're well, good. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Yeah. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, Why wait, not? dude. This... Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Stop restarting. Uh, All of his co-workers were gone. What could it yeah. mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Yep, Perhaps yep. he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, we're going to the meeting room. Gotcha. I'll just keep following the open doors. You know, dude, you gotta keep track of your writing. Maybe you're just, just so unorganized. Come on. Okay, Wait. yep, it's worse. <laughs> you're remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. What? Why don't we go back the other direction? And see if we missed anything. Okay, backwards. Okay, sounds like a good idea, buddy. I trust you. You're the narrator narrating my life right now. So why the heck not? You know what? Aha! There we go. I knew we'd miss something. There the story. We go. Here it comes. Huh? <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is so cool. I like it. No, wait. Never what? mind. Not the oh. story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know how that's gonna change anything, dude, but whatever you say, Tucky. What the heck happened? What? Uh... Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't, I don't know. think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Maybe this is before they... Do you they... remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! I win! I know you put in a lot of hard work, I bet and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. This is oh, like no. the fastest I've ever... No, I don't feel right about this at all. I know, I beat it. We both know you didn't put in any actual no. work for that win. I did, Some though. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. But I walked a lot, though. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. <laughs> I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <sighs> Dang it, dude! Stop restarting my game! <laughs> this is so cool. Oh. Okay, thank you. Drew out a line for All me right. to walk. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley uh, Parable Adventure Line. Yay! Just follow the line. How simple is that? Follow the yellow line. Follow the yellow line. Follow the follow the follow the follow the follow the yellow line. Okay. Let's go this way. Thanks for making a line, dude. I wish most games had this. Actually, I don't. You see? The line knows where the story is. Whoa. It's over in this direction. Cool. Oh, Lord Stanley, to destiny. <laughs> no, here's a thought. To destiny. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, 
Are we implying a journey hmm. such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. A lot of big words now, there, buddy. we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective go experience of that existence, What's, right? What would happen if okay. I went this way? Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, oh. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Whoa, what? Back there? Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Wait. I can't go on the wall, dude. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yeah, let's do that. Adventure music! Yay! Oh my gosh! Dude, you went a little crazy with the lines there, dude. Question, question. Yeah, that's what my mind looks like right now. I don't know why I just follow those lines. They didn't go anywhere. Oh, follow the lines! Follow! <laughs> oh my dude! I'm going a little crazy here. I'm liking the music. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. We're on an adventure! Nothing's happened! Yay! Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not following that. Let's just go this way. Apparently this guy thinks I have Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Look at that fern. Oh, so Stanley, firm. This fern will be very oh, fern, not later firm. in the story. Make sure you study it closely <laughs> and remember it carefully. Uh, you won't want to miss anything. Study. Okay. It's uh, quite leafy. Um, it's green. And it's in a square. No, rectangular uh, pot thing. Okay, I think I got it, buddy. What, dude? You went really crazy Wait, with these. Wait, we're back at the office? No, oh, dude. no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. Is <laughs> any of this ringing a bell? Wait. Wait a second. I started here. Am I going the right way? What? Wait no, a second. No. No, 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 not again. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Not again. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. It's just, like, all happening in this one small area. This is so cool. Okay, guys, I think I am out of time. I'm going to end it right here where this is so cool. I love it. Ah, so great. Um, what's going to happen next? I don't know. Okay, it's going to be super, I'm super excited for the next part. So, um, I will see you all in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.